the materials that you'll need to standardize a sodium hydroxide solution using a titration includes your burette, an Erlenmeyer flask with a stir bar. If you don't have a stir bar available to you, simply swirl your Erlenmeyer flask during your titration. A stir plate if using a stir bar. A burette clamp. Two more Erlenmeyer flasks. A 10 milliliter volumetric pipette. A pipette bulb. Phenolphthalene indicator. Properly labeled beakers for acidic and basic waste. Deionized water in a spray bottle. Potassium hydrogen phthalate, also referred to as KHP. A properly labeled plastic bottle for your sodium hydroxide solution, a 100 milliliter volumetric flask, a 50 milliliter beaker, a glass stirring rod, and your sodium hydroxide solution that you'll be standardizing. Take a small amount of your sodium hydroxide solution that you'll be standardizing and pour it into your plastic bottle. After ensuring that your bottle doesn't have any leaks of any kind, including in the cap, cap your bottle and shake it to coat the inside with your sodium hydroxide solution. Pour any excess sodium hydroxide solution into your base waste. Pour an appropriate amount of your sodium hydroxide solution into your plastic bottle. Weigh approximately 3.2 grams of KHP and transfer it into your 50 milliliter beaker. Record the exact mass of the KHP that you transferred in your laboratory notebook. Dissolve your KHP into deionized water. KHP dissolves very slowly in water so this may take 15 to 20 minutes. Be patient and ensure that all of your material has properly dissolved before continuing. If your material is properly dissolved, you should see no remnants of it at the bottom of your beaker. Once your solution is clear and you can see no remnants of KHP, you're ready to transfer it into your volumetric flask. Quantitatively transfer your KHP solution into your 100 milliliter volumetric flask. Don't forget to rinse your beaker and your glass stirring rod and transfer your rinses into your 100 milliliter volumetric flask. Carefully delete your solution to the mark using a small transfer pipette. Cap your volumetric flask and invert it around 13 times. Rinse your beer out with a small amount of sodium hydroxide solution and then discard of it into the waste. Placing the basic waste beaker underneath your burette, carefully fill your burette with sodium hydroxide solution. Open the burette briefly to release any air that may have collected in the tip. Allow your solution to sit in the burette for at least 30 seconds. Ensure that no air bubbles have collected inside your burette. Record your burette reading in your laboratory notebook. Pour a small amount of your KHP solution into a separate beaker. Rinse your 10 milliliter volumetric pipette with your KHP solution. 
dispose of this into the acid waste. Transfer 10 milliliters of your KHP solution into your Erlenmeyer flask with the stir bar. Add two drops of phenothaline indicator. Place your Erlenmeyer flask onto your stir plate and begin stirring. Begin your titration by releasing sodium hydroxide solution from your burette into your Erlenmeyer flask. Be very careful when titrating your sample to not release too much sodium hydroxide into your Erlenmeyer flask. Rinse the tip of your burette and the sides of the Erlenmeyer flask to ensure that all sodium hydroxide has mixed with the KHP. Once you've reached your end point, your solution should be a very, very faint pink color. Record your second burette rating into your laboratory notebook. A number of calculations can be done after the fact to determine the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution you're attempting to standardize.